here are the tools you're gonna need. You could substitute this um, right angle for just the ruler. The right angle just helps me get it done faster. The poundo board, you could use a piece of rubber. You could use a piece of wood for using your quarter inch uh, punch or a drill. If you drill through the plastic, make sure you use a, uh, you put it on top of a piece of wood and drill into the wood. It'll make it a lot easier. Hi, uh, this is Rich at Rich Phillips. I wanted to show you guys how to make one of these face masks like I have on right at the moment. Um, I'm gonna take it off while I make this, while I'm talking, it's probably gonna fog up pretty good. Uh, this is a piece of PETG. I bought it at Coke Plastics. You, you have to buy them in like, you have to buy 10 sheets at a time. It runs about $100 in that range. Um, obviously, if you can find it somewhere else or in smaller quantity, this is PETG. 0.02 thickness. It's extremely clear and this here is the dimensions of this main shield piece are 15 by 10 inches. And the, uh, the back here, this elastic, this is one inch elastic. You could go buy this at any fabric store. Um, I bought this at Wholesale USA here in uh, St. Ann, Missouri. You, it, does, it can be white, black, it doesn't matter. It just has to be one inch for it to be comfortable. If you can find, figure out something else that still works, that stays in place, if you knot it up or whatever, that'll work too. This is 14 inches long. So there's my elastic 14 inch long piece. The foam here, I cut this foam. This is the same foam that I make uh, motorcycle seats with. It's just a one inch by one inch piece. And I've stuck, or I've sprayed adhesive on the back of this. The adhesive is going to be a little harder to find. Uh, I think you can buy some types of weather stripping at Home Depot and Lowe's, which are still open at the moment. That's one inch by one inch. You just pull off the the um, protective back for the adhesive, and you know, go from there. So I'm just going to mark this out here on the PETG. Or I made that one. That one's homemade. There, nothing, nothing special. Super simple, super lightweight, and super easy to make. But that, this barrier between, you know, someone possibly with coronavirus and, or any other virus for that matter, this barrier and an N95 mask, you're a whole lot more protected than just with the N95 mask alone. As I'm speaking, I have a locksmith that's working on all these businesses that are closed down at the moment, and he's coming by and I'm giving him one. You know, this would be great if you want a project to do while you're sitting at home and, uh, you want to help out some healthcare workers? I, I have heard that there is a shortage on these. I, there's some people out there 3D printing this whole bracket to utilize this. It's uh, That's great, they look great, but it would also add weight. And I'm not, I'm not discrediting what they're doing. I'm just saying that the, the lighter they are, the um, longer you can have it on your head. And this one's, I don't think you can make it any lighter. So I'm using a knife. An Olfa knife, a razor blade would work, scissors would work, I just prefer the knife because you can get some leverage and it they're disposable blades. More cost effective for me here at this shop to use a knife. You can also substitute a thicker PETG, you could use 0.05. I just happen to be able to get my hands on 0 0.02 thickness. Okay. Main piece is cut. Here's a spool of thread I'm gonna use for the bottom radius. Something bigger would not be a bad idea. I'm just gonna mark this out with the Sharpie. I'm gonna use the scissors for this part. Then I'm gonna cut a nice, nice radius so that it doesn't stick into your shoulder. Okay, 
that's all cut there. Take a soft surface. This is called a poundo board. Obviously, you won't be able to get a hold of one of these right now very easily. Um, so, some piece of rubber, a tire, something like that. So, and you have to have a hole punch. But there's other ways to do this. You could poke a knife through here and put holes in it. You could drill it into wood, put this on top of a piece of wood, drill through it, should be okay. I would imagine you'll probably break some, but the hole punch works great for this. Auto parts store should have these, so if there's a, if you can get to an auto parts store, it's a quarter inch hole punch. You put, you put two holes on each side. I didn't even measure them, I just stuck them, got it done. Take your elastic, actually, I'm sorry. Cut these little sharp corners off. Okay, take your elastic. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Pull off the uh, plastic. Pulling the plastics off a little is a little difficult at times. It's probably the most time consuming part of this. Okay, see it? Ultra clear. Nice barrier between you and any germs that might get past, get into your face there. So, take my 12 inch piece of foam Line it up there real nice and even. This is to keep it off your face, keep it over the front of your, uh, your glasses. Then you take the uh, elastic, pull it through one hole. And then the other hole, this makes it adjustable somewhat. That's all there is to it.